Okay, so I think they're recording. All right, so let me get this out of the way for a second. I need the length of each of these two pieces. Right, since the entire thickness of the rectangle is defined as W, and each half would be half of W. Right, so if I want to get to the outer part of that rectangle, so I'll just take, take a location here. I'd have to go the, the P distance that got me to the middle plus that an extra half unit of distance, of thickness. So P plus one half W. Alright, and again, what they're asking us for in number one is just that, the radius of the outer cylinder. So P plus one half W. It then asks us what the volume is of the outer cylinder. So basically I'm just saying that I'm, instead of taking the entire rectangle and spinning it around, I'm only spinning around the top line. So I don't even have a cylinder with any kind of real thickness. It's just a, not even a shell. I mean, it would be like a sliver of a cylinder on the outer extremities. Right? But it will contain a volume. So the, the, the space that exists within that, those circumferences, that would be the volume that I'm looking for. And the volume of the cylinder pi r squared times h. All right, the area of the circle that makes up the end caps multiplied by the height to give you as many, infinitely many circles on the interval. All right. So I know that this is what I'm defining as r. So this would be my volume of the outer cylinder times h. h we haven't defined in any re any meaningful way other than to say it's some height height that we need to determine. All right. The next question asks us what is the radius and volume of the inner cylinder. So that's saying here. In which case, I have to go to the halfway point, P, and come backwards half one width. All right, so I'm taking my answers to one and two and just putting it down all in one shot. R equals P minus a half W. And the volume would be equal to pi R squared h, right, with the r being p minus a half a w. They're asking us for the volume of the cylindrical shell. Right? So if I take the volume of the outer radius and cut out the volume of the inner radius, that would be the volume of the shell. Right? So the outer, that's pi times P plus one half W squared H minus the inner, same thing but with a minus sign. All right, so technically I've, I've answered the question, but I haven't done any calculus yet, and I need to use it, so it's in our best interest to simplify a little bit. V outer minus V inner equals V shell. All right, so first thing I notice in simplifying is that we have a commonality. Pi and H are in both terms, so I can undistribute that, aka factor that out. That'll give us just a P plus a half W quantity squared minus P minus half W quantity squared. And some algebra. Distributive property. P squared plus PW 
plus one fourth w squared. So just foiling. And then minus from that p squared. So this would be minus pw plus one fourth w squared. All right, so that's just distributive property. So good old algebra one there. Or early college algebra, maybe even beginning algebra. Uh, so from there, we could simplify. These would cancel. These would cancel. These two would combine. So done, done. This, because of this minus sign, would combine with that. So we're looking at pi h. And then it would be multiplied by 2pw. All right. So if you think back to the rectangle, we had three pieces of information that we either ha would have or would need to figure out. One would be the length of the distance to so the distance. the axis of revolution. H would be the height of your rectangle. And W would be the width of the rectangle. And then you have a couple of constants there, but 2 times pi, 2 pi, that's a pretty circular measure, telling us essentially that we're going around one full loop, equivalent to 360 degrees. All right? But somehow we have to make this into an integration problem. All right? Because P, H, and W won't be part of your function, but X and Y will. So but what we do need to figure out and this would be generally the case, we'd have to figure out boundaries of integration. We'd have to figure out relevant functions. And then from there, then we can get into our integration component. So in this case, the one thing I could tell you before we move on is that the W is actually the one thing that you can assume here. We'd have a 2 pi out front because that's constant. You have some interval, interval for your integral. Then you have the pH p times h, and then you have the w. The w is the thickness of your arbitrary rectangle. But in all the previous questions we've done, the thickness of the arbitrary rectangle is the same as a dx or a dy. So this is d something. All right, so this is our general model for finding volumes with cylindrical shells. 2 pi times some integral of pH e x why it doesn't matter right? it will it doesn't matter now because we don't have context but in a particular situation you'll be able to determine what that is uh you do what's that the w is getting replaced with some d something 